can I throw in another, uh, just another, not cringy on my part necessarily, um, but it involves getting politically active in, in college, uh, freshman year, trying to, trying to join, uh, clubs and stuff, uh, young, impressionable, just out of, uh, just out of high school. So we went to a meeting, me and two of my friends, we went to a meeting of, uh, young Americans for Liberty, uh, which is a libertarian, uh, organization. Hell yeah. So yeah, like this is going. We, we went there and like the first thing they they did was uh, like walking in the door. They gave everyone a copy of Ayn Rand's. Um, oh. uh, I forget. What it's, not, head. it's it's not one of her. No, it's way too big to hand out. Um, uh, Probably the, a uh, of hers or something. Shit, it was a smaller one, but it wasn't like one of her super popular ones. Um, it's it was one that's more like philosophy than like one of her no- novels. Okay. Um, so we sit down. They're talking and like for most of the time, a lot of the stuff they're talking about, like, OK, like cool we're like college students we're open-minded whatever and then they get to where like two of like the hardened veterans of the of the group like the president and the chancellor whatever um they they're discussing ideas of what the group should do this uh this year and the one of them says what if we debate the anti-sweatshop group and and the president, he, he's, like, he's like, well, 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 I don't know. Um, let's see. Everyone here is pro sweatshop, right? <laughs> and like kind of like looked at looked at my two friends, my roommate and, and my friend and like legitimately thought he was saying this like as a, like a sarcastically yeah. like it's like, oh, yeah, of course, everyone's pro sweatshop. But like, no, he was dead ass straight face. Like oh everyone here is pro sweatshop. Right? And, and just a lot of like murmurs and like like nods and stuff. And it's like, mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, of course. and then, yeah, of and then they're like, oh, yeah, it's like shop. maybe, yeah, maybe we could maybe we could talk to them and, and hook something up. And so as me and my friends were leaving the meeting, we were discussing the fact that, like, you know, if if you engage the anti sweatshop debate or group in a debate, like even if you win that debate, technically <laughs> you lose because now yeah. you are like that's you're no longer the young Americans for liberty. You're now the young Americans for Sweatshop. Sweatshops. So yeah, we didn't go back to that group. Um, I, good lord. Yeah. yeah, good Christ. But we tried. We tried to get involved. Yeah. But that's uh whoo. That's tremendous. That's a... I'm so glad you shared that. <laughs> Even my like very conservative parents are very anti sweatshop. Yeah, I, I yeah, I can't see that. That's my a brave parents, stance for them to yeah, take. I know, that's, right? Yeah, that's that's like not an acceptable stance to have. You can like at best see it as like, oh well, this is like a necessary evil and it gives them more money than they would otherwise. But like no one's pro sweatshop. Yeah, no one's like, you know <laughs> like, they need more sweatshops. Yeah. More so, kids in the mines. That was my that was my my <laughs> my first and only attempt to become politically active in any way. So, I I like that you asked like, can I share this? And immediately started sharing it without waiting for permission. And I think that is the true libertarian spirit. Exactly. Like <laughs> I learned I learned from the best. So yeah. 